Joe Biden has defended his decision not to call for a ceasefire in Gaza, stating that Hamas poses a continuous threat to Israel and that Israeli forces are taking measures to avoid civilian casualties. Speaking to reporters after a summit meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping, Biden emphasized that Hamas has publicly expressed its intention to attack Israel again, engaging in brutal acts such as beheading babies and burning women and children alive. While these specific claims have not been independently verified, the severity of the massacre that occurred on October 7, resulting in the deaths of approximately 1,200 people, is undeniable. Biden acknowledged that the Israeli military's initial response involved indiscriminate aerial bombardment. But he noted that they have since shifted to more targeted ground operations. He emphasized that the Israeli defense forces are making efforts to minimize harm, including allowing medical personnel to evacuate and providing assistance to hospitals. Biden also mentioned the possibility of a hostage deal, expressing cautious optimism. Biden's strong defense of the Israeli military contrasts with recent statements from other senior U.S. officials, who have focused on urging the IDF to adhere to humanitarian law and avoid civilian casualties. This suggests that the president is more unequivocally pro-Israel than some members of his administration. Biden's remarks came after the UN Security Council passed a resolution calling for extended humanitarian pauses to allow aid access into Gaza. The US and the UK abstained from voting due to the resolution's lack of explicit criticism of Hamas, despite their support for the emphasis on humanitarian relief. This is the first UN resolution on the Israel-Palestine conflict since 2016. Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, criticized the resolution, stating that it does not reflect the reality on the ground. He emphasized that Israel is committed to international law and is focused on bringing its hostages home. While UN resolutions are legally binding in theory, they are often disregarded in practice. The significance of this resolution lies in the U.S.'s willingness to support a call for an extended humanitarian ceasefire. The resolution coincided with condemnation of Israel's decision to send troops into Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza, which marks an escalation in Israel's offensive against Hamas. The World Health Organization expressed concern for the safety of health personnel and patients at the hospital, emphasizing that hospitals should not be treated as battlegrounds. The IDF released a video claiming to show weapons and combat gear recovered from an undisclosed building within the hospital complex. Hamas denied the allegations, accusing Israel of spreading lies and propaganda. The Israeli military spokesperson stated that the search of the complex is ongoing, as they believe there is a command complex beneath Al-Shifa. It is widely acknowledged that Hamas has an extensive tunnel network throughout Gaza,